This is Colombia's News in English, online on TV Colombia and in flight on Avianca. Hello everyone, I'm Gary Parker Savage. And I'm Natasha Sheikh. We begin today with a quick look on all today's headlines. Six people are missing in San Juan, Cordoba after heavy downpours caused landslides overnight. Rescue workers are having trouble on the scene due to the continuous rainfall. It's estimated around 100 houses were affected by the landslides. Former paramilitary leader Francisco Villalba Hernandez, a man responsible for the murders of hundreds in Antioquia in 1997, was killed with two shots in the back. He was serving an 11-year prison sentence under house arrest. Wednesday marked the second day of the truck driver strike. More than 150,000 drivers are now part of the strike, protesting the price of gas. No meetings have been arranged yet between the government and the drivers. Bogota is looking for ways to make its people a little more healthy. And next Saturday, the capital city will be holding a massive flu and pneumococcus vaccines for everybody in all parts of the city. The so-called vaccine journey of the Americas will simultaneously start in 42 countries. And in Bogota, there will be 420 small clinics set up in various spots in all localities, such as parks, hospitals, malls, and playgrounds. The vaccines will be administered from 8 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. In you can go everywhere to get these vaccines. You can go to all the hospitals, parks, and even the churches. The mayor's office has invested 22 billion pesos for the pneumococcus vaccines for children under 5, and over 7 billion pesos for adult flu vaccines. And best of all, the vaccines will be given free. This tradition has lasted for several years here. With the vaccines, Bogota hopes to have its people live longer, healthier lives. It's hoping to vaccinate 11,500 kids and 41,000 adults. All of the lung infections cause many people to go to the hospital and even cause death. It's important to note that kids who are currently sick or are older than the age range for each dose of the pneumococcus vaccine can still receive it. People who will receive both vaccines at the same time will be better protected. Bucaramanga's mayor's office is now launching a massive program to improve its city. Ciudad Región, as it calls the plan to improve hydroelectric plants on the Sogamosa River, the National Park of Chicamocha, and the Tonawater Water Reserve. It also plans to start constructing several new buildings in the downtown area. The program is supported by the Andina Improvement Corporation along with the Inter-American Development Bank. After 11 years, Colombia will be returning to Cannes, one of the world's most important film festivals. In its comeback, Colombia will be showing its latest flick, Los Viajes del Viento, or The Trips of the Wind in English. It will be seen in the Una Cierta Mirada, rather, or a certain point of view category. The festival is being held in Paris from May 14th to the 24th. The filmmakers say they're very happy and are looking forward to the event. Los Viajes del Viento was directed by Ciro Guerrero one of Colombia's most famous directors. International Dancing Day is coming up Wednesday and Colombia is ready to show some of its best moves. At 1 p.m., people from all around the country will get out of their homes and go into the streets to dance. There will be several festivities at all public places, even free dance lessons such as salsa, tango, ballet, pop and even break dancing. Checking in on the Colombian weather, not exactly the best day in the islands of San Andres and Providencia. It's 27 degrees, hot, but a little rainy, but as we make our way up to the Caribbean coast, not exactly the best beach day in Cartagena. It's rainy. Santa Marta, however, is a little better, partly sunny. Rio Hacha, 23 degrees. Bayou du Par, the uh, capital of Vallenato, 25 degrees. Cucuta, going south, 22 degrees. Bucaramanga, still rainy, along with Tunja, very chilly at 9 degrees, managing the Paisa capital. Also rainy as well. It's just rainy throughout mostly uh, central Colombia today. Same thing goes for Cali, Popayan, partly cloudy at 12 degrees, and Pasto, a little chilly for Colombia, 8 degrees, and Tumaco, uh, rainy, 22 degrees. And we make our way towards the Pacific coast. We got Buena Ventura, cloudy, partly sunny, 24 degrees. Mocoa, 20 degrees, partly sunny. Florencia, 20 as well. And as we make our way towards the Llano, San Jose de Guavieri, 22 degrees, me too. Very rainy at 21 and down in the Amazonas. Leticia, rainy, cloudy, but that's the rainforest, 22 degrees. 
And that will do for this edition of RCN News. We're always online on TV Colombia and in flight on Avianca. We welcome your comments to Colombian News at canalrcn.com. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. We leave you today with images of Train de la Sabana, uh, Sabana rather, one of the most beautiful sites you will see here in Bogota. As you can see, it's a very nice antique looking train. This is RCN News in English, Colombia for the world.